climate change seems here to stay. But finally, the human world has actually begun to change in response to this great upheaval that has beset our planet. While new technologies to make cars sustainable is being raced towards as we speak, on this World Environment Day, we wanted to see our zero emission car, seen by many as the front runner in creating a greener planet, fits into the current scenario in India in 2022. With us on this is BYD E6, an all-electric premium MPV, which is as close as it gets to the state-of-the-art and comfortable all-electric vehicle that promises to compare itself with performance and the ease offered by the conventionally fueled cars. So Girish, what's the plan? So the plan is to drive from India's commercial capital, Mumbai, to India's national capital, Delhi, in the premium all-electric MPV, a BYD E6, but in one single shot. Through this journey of approximately 2000 kilometers, we're also wanting to check from an end user point of view, whether this whole electric car experience is really practical in the year 2022. The BYD E6 was launched in India in December 2021. It comes with the blade battery technology, which is patented to BYD. This blade battery is the safest battery among all the electric vehicle batteries available, which gives you a range of 520 kilometers on a single charge. It is also one of the safest batteries in the world because even a nail which penetrates through, it does not get any fire or any damage to the battery. The first leg of our journey is along National Highway 48 from Mumbai across the Maharashtra-Gujarat border to Vansda National Park in Navsari District, Gujarat. This protected forest is about 80 kilometers northeast of Valsad and houses a great deal of diversity, including the indigenous tribes which have inhabited it since times immemorial. It seems like a good place to check out how climate change is affecting even the most ancient, pristine and hardy ecosystems around us. આપણા ભારત ખાતે જે જંગલ આવેલું છે એમના ઉપયોગી માટે ઘણું ખરું આપણા જે લાઈફ સાયકલ ચાલે છે કે જે એક મનુષ્ય અને વન્ય પ્રાણી વચ્ચે જે આપણું બેલેન્સ છે એને જાળવી રાખવા માટે આપણા નેશનલ પાર્કની જરૂરિયાત છે આફ્ટર ધેટ રિયાલિટી ચેક ઓન ધ કરન્ટ સિચ્યુએશન ટુમોરો વી વિલ સી વોટ ઇન્ડસ્ટ્રી ઇઝ ડુઈંગ to bring their balance back. While we are on our way, we intend to make a couple of stops to show how sustainability works. For example, it can be the secret to long life, a really long life, like this baobab tree that has stood here about 15 kilometers from Vadodara for over 950 years. It is a living reminder of sustainable systems that work, survive and integrate themselves with their environment. Charzon is proud to partner with BYD Auto. Partnerships like this is our testament to the belief of developing EV charging infrastructure in India. Charge Zone has already electrified 2,500 kilometers of national highways in India. And by forging partnerships with companies like BYD, uh, it's the aim for rapid transition into an electric and a cleaner, greener tomorrow. The 
moving without emissions, getting the vehicle charged up on the road like this. All this is fine. But finally, if this electricity is coming in from some non renewable resource, what's the point? Well, that's a very valid question and much debated topic, Ashish. In fact, on this sustainable drive for sustainable India, we're going to visit a place and we just have the answer to that question. This is the Charanka Solar Power Park, the biggest of Gujarat, one of the biggest in India and one of the first in Asia. It generates massive amounts of power and is spread over 5,000 acres. But what exactly does it do and how does it affect the environment over here? And how exactly is it a symbol of sustainability? Let's find out from some of the people working on it. Gujarat Solar Park is Asia's biggest and first solar park. जो जीपी गुजरात पावर कॉरपोरेशन लिमिटेड है वो नोडल एजेंसी है एज ए पार्क के लिए और यहाँ का एरिया टोटल 5,400 एकड़ का है अभी 730 मेगावाट कंप्लीट हो गया है और और 20 मेगावाट अंडर कंस्ट्रक्शन है और उनमें से अभी 730 मेगावाट्स में डेली अप्रोक्सीमेट 45 लाख यूनिट जनरेशन हो रहा है और वो पूरा ग्रीन एंड क्लीन एनर्जी है और उसके जो फोर्टी फाइव यूनिट जनरेशन होता है तो वो अपना एक कार्बन क्रेडिट क्रिएट करता है और इन फ्यूचर सब पूरा वर्ल्ड यही एनर्जी पे डिपेंडेबल हो जाएगा Ashish, we have been uh, driving this car for the last few days, We've done hundreds of kilometers cross country. Uh, how was your driving experience? So, Girish, frankly speaking, driving an electric car is not really much different from driving any other powerful petrol or diesel cars. And a uh, few of the things about BYD E6, I think it's a very, very practical car, huge amount of uh, space, and the quietness of cabin, I think it makes it very, very comfortable on a long drive. And what really amazes me is actually the range. The range, true. I'm amazed that we were able to do a cross-country trip in an electric car today. Uh, the kind of range, as you mentioned, uh, we have been getting means we are charging lesser times and uh, the infrastructure is almost there and I think it's only going in the right direction. So it's just a matter of time before it becomes as easy as driving a petrol or a diesel car across India anyway. This drive from Mumbai to Delhi via our detours saw us clock over 2,200 kilometers from start to finish. This took us into the India Book of Records as the longest yet in a fully electric car. Fittingly, on June 5th, a day we all celebrate as World Environment Day. The duo started their journey from Mumbai on 31st May and covered a total 2,203 km while travelling through the states of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Haryana in the BYD E6 electric MPV. The last few years has seen a sea change in our perception about electric vehicles. From some tech on the fringes of the automotive industry, it is fast becoming mainstream, fueled by the push from Indian authorities and complemented by manufacturers such as BYD, who have created the technology that will make it relevant. India is ready to shift sustainably to electric vehicles. It took internal combustion engine cars 
a hundred years to get to where they are. And with the current environmental scenario, the future cannot be anything but zero emission.